So you know what's beating out fine lines and wrinkles as the number one skincare concern? Dark marks, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, dark patches, melasma. Those are the questions that are coming in the most. And these can all be treated with some very powerful skincare ingredients, but not all of those ingredients work the same way or at the same speed. So we're gonna dig into that in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert, and on my channel, we help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's your thing, then please be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when my new videos are coming out each week. All right, so all of these questions coming in about hyperpigmentation, dark spots, anytime I talk about anything that has to do with skin darkening as a photo aging issue, it's a big deal. No matter what video I put out, even when I do a video on dark circles under the eyes, your skin having an even complexion is a big deal to almost everyone. Everybody wants that. And at 57 years old, I can tell you, it's one of the things that I actually focus on the most with my skin because even though I've done a really good job over the years protecting myself with sunscreen and using good solid skincare products, a lot of the things we have today, the acids that we use for this weren't available to me back then. So it's an issue that I focus on as well, so I get it. Okay, when it comes to hyperpigmentation, there are three basic things that we need to address. And first and foremost is the speed of cellular turnover. We want that to be quickened. We want our skin to produce healthier skin cells that reduce the amount of photoaging visible on the skin. And we also want to address and disperse melanin that has pooled or gathered in these dark patches or dark spots and prevent them from coming back. Now, long-term sunscreen is going to be your best friend, your best tool in your skincare arsenal in helping you to reduce the occurrence of these and also in helping them fade away. Almost every day, it seems there's some new product, a skincare acid, a skincare spot corrector, a fade cream that's designed to help with these. But there really is only a handful of ingredients that are effective, that no matter what product you're choosing, these ingredients are what you would want to use for this purpose of fading out and preventing melasma, hyperpigmentation patches, dark spots, even old acne marks. Not scars, but marks. So these all fall into a group of skin care acids. And the reason acids are so important is because acids are reactive, which means that when they're applied to the skin and absorbed, they create some sort of reaction or change in the actual cellular level of the skin. Either we are removing old dead skin cells or we're helping the skin produce more new, healthier skin cells that don't have that DNA damage, or we're trying to improve collagen and elastin. Acids are actives, so they go in there and cause a reaction. So that is why it seems like every time we're dealing with these type of problems or issues, we're talking about skincare acids. So let's start with the milder ones, by milder, I mean they're going to be easier on the skin. They're going to take a little bit longer to be effective. But for those of you who have very sensitive skin, these are the type of acids that you would look at to help with hyperpigmentation issues. The first of which being the sodium ascorbyl phosphate version of vitamin C, or sometimes it's listed as magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. This is a stable form of vitamin C that is much milder than its, say, cousin, that we see in the stronger vitamin C serums of L-ascorbic acid, which is a very active, potent form of vitamin C. Now, these serums that I'm talking about are milder, they're water-based, they work very well to help lighten and brighten the skin overall. They're gonna fade lighter patches, dark patches, dark spots, marks, that type of thing, and they're gonna take some time to do that, but they shouldn't upset or irritate your skin, which is a big, big plus, and they're stable, which means they don't oxidize. I'm gonna talk about L-ascorbic acid and why that happens in just a minute. But it's a very stable product to use. So if you're a beginner with vitamin C, you're a very sensitive skin and you're battling hyper pig and you're battling hyperpigmentation issues, this is going to be your go-to for your morning product in your routine. Now there are a lot of these vitamin C products out on the market. 
I often recommend Olay Brightening Serum because it's a buffered vitamin C serum. It's sodium ascorbyl phosphate, very light, very mild, not very expensive, and works very, very well, has a very proven track record. Also, The Ordinary, or the brand The Ordinary, has several versions, I think two, versions of the milder form of vitamin C solutions or serums. So I will list those down in the video description box. I will be recommending some products today in this video. And for those of you who follow, no, and for those of you who don't, well now, down below in the video description box will be all of the products that I mentioned in today's video. So I'll probably remind you several times, but that's where you will find all this information. Next up is a combination of acids that are both mild in nature, but work very, very well for instantly improving your complexion and then in the long term improving hyperpigmentation issues. The first of which is niacinamide. The next of which is azelaic acid. Now, both of these acids can be used separately, but when used together, they do form a powerful combination that can really help your skin. The niacinamide helps reduce redness and inflammation almost immediately. It also helps brighten and even out your skin tone over time. And the azelaic acid also is an anti-inflammatory. So if you're someone who's been suffering with acne and having those dark spots left behind, these two together are really powerful for that. And the azelaic acid, especially at a 10% strength or more, can be very effective for things like the dark patches that happen from sun damage and photo aging and also melasma. Again, a couple of brands that I recommend most often are The Ordinary's Niacinamide. You can find that down below again in the video description box and also Naturium's 10% azelaic acid topical solution. They also have a 10% emulsion. I actually like this one better, but you can check those out when you want to at the end of this video. Now let's talk about the more powerful, more deeply acting, more quickly acting skin acids of Kojic, Mandelic, Arbutin, and even tranexamic acid. All of these acids will work a little bit more quickly as they are a little more powerful in their active nature and the reaction that we receive in the skin from them. These can be used by normal skin types and if you have sensitive skin, some of you can use them, but you need to patch test them, that inner arm patch test for a day to make sure you don't get any sort of irritation or dermatitis, because again, these are stronger. The nature of these acids are to be absorbed in the upper layers of the skin and help repair some of the damage that's been done by UVA, UVB light, but more importantly, they regulate the melanin production in your skin, helping to disperse those dark spots and patches and keep your skin from forming more. So they actually help regulate that process. Now, all of these acids also speed up to some degree cellular turnover, so you're going to see some brightening effect right away. Kojic acid and tranexamic acid out of this grouping. I have seen almost instantaneous lightening of dark patches when people have used these acids. Now again, ton of products out there that have them in them. You can also get them a la carte, in other words, the acid itself in a solution to use without it being combined with other ingredients and other products. Good Molecules is a great brand for that, the a la carte type of skincare. And also, again, The Ordinary, and I will list all these down below in the video description box. So all the now let's talk about even more aggressive, more potent, more active, ingredients that can help with hyperpigmentation. The first of which is the l acid version of vitamin C serum. Now, this is an unstable form of vitamin C, but it is also very active, very potent. So you need it in a strength of 15% in the formulation, all the way up to about 24%. Anything past that has a tendency to burn the skin. So we don't want to go past 23, 24%. But this type of vitamin C serum does do a great job of brightening and evening the skin tone. It helps protect your skin from further oxidation from free radicals, from more damage from UVA, UVB light, while allowing your skin to repair and produce healthier skin cells. And it also supports, doesn't really promote or spark, but it does support collagen and elastin in your skin. So vitamin C serum, a really great product. And I would submit to you that if you're gonna use a vitamin C serum 15% or higher, that you again do that patch test just to make sure that you can tolerate it. Maybe you need to start at a slightly lower strength. Now, those of you who follow the channel know that the product that I use is the Ordinary's vitamin C 23% suspension with hyaluronic acid spheres. It's what works best for me, but there are a whole bunch of these types of products out there. You can spend upwards to $150 for a vitamin C serum. 
think before you do that. Make sure you're going to use it all the way up in about 30 days because this vitamin C serum, unlike the sodium ascorbyl phosphate version, is again not stable. It will oxidize when it is exposed to air and light. So it should always come in a dark or light proof container and you do need to use it in about 30 to 60 days after you've opened it unless the label says otherwise. But generally speaking, vitamin C serum, it gets weaker and weaker and weaker after you open it every day and air gets to it and light gets to it. So just keep that in mind. Also another stronger, more aggressive approach to hyperpigmentation is the use of alpha hydroxy acids. Been around for a really long time. I've been using alpha hydroxy acids since about 1985, 84, 85, somewhere in there. These acids help dissolve the bond between old dead skin cells on the surface of your skin and the newer skin underneath. So they do give an instant brightening of the complexion, an evening of the complexion. And over time, they help speed up that cellular turnover so that your other products are able to work deeper and better at helping disperse that melanin that has gathered or pooled in those spots or patches. It really is exfoliation in a bottle and you need a strength of about 8% minimum for you to get the results that you'd be looking for for hyperpigmentation. Actually all the way up to 30%, which is peel grade, 30% more. I personally use a 14% strength for my skin. I use Alpha Skin Cares, 14% Skin Renewal Glycolic Acid Serum. I cannot talk today. Anyway, that's the product that I use. Again, down below in the video description box, but you wanna speed that cellular turnover and get that old dead skin cell layer completely off so that these other products can work well for you. And I have saved the strongest, most potent, most miraculous skincare ingredient for anti-aging, photo-aging, and hyperpigmentation, and that is the use of a retinoid. Now, retinoid is a family of products that are vitamin A derivatives, all the way from very mild retinol moisturizers, which people with milder cases of hyperpigmentation or sensitive skin usually can use daily successfully, all the way up to prescription strength tretinoin that you would get from your dermatologist. These products can help reverse sun damage that shows on the surface of the skin. Over time, they help remove those dark patches and dark spots. They help repair your skin and help it produce healthier skin cells that don't reproduce more of these types of issues. They actually go in and help boost your collagen production, help strengthen elastin, help smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. It really is a miraculous ingredient. It's been around for a while and they have not topped it with something yet. After that, it really is going to see your dermatologist, which if you are having a real issue with hyperpigmentation, a lot of age spots showing up, it's a really good idea and worth the time and a little bit of money to go see your dermatologist because they can assess your skin and give you great advice and the right treatment for the right problem. Now, I could go on all day about the effectiveness and the intricacies of retinol, but there's a lot to know about that. So if you're new to that or you really want to understand which retinol products are better for you and your skin issues, please check out these videos that I will link to next at the end of this one and also list down below in the video description box because it can give you a whole education on retinoids, tretinoin, retinol, what's better for you, what's better for the issue that you have. I just would be here all day trying to give that to you in this particular video. Now, I hope today's video was helpful in giving you some information on what to do specifically for hyperpigmentation, which acids do what and are for what and what might be better for your skin. If the video was helpful, please give it a like, share it out. It helps me and the channel. And also in the comments below, let me know what dark spot correctors or hyperpigmentation products that you have used that worked for you or didn't. Also check out the videos coming up next so you can learn more about retinol and how it works and how to perfect your own skincare routine, get your best skin ever. I wanna thank you guys for watching as always. I know you have a choice on YouTube. I appreciate you, stay beautiful, and I'll see you over on the next video.